Have you guys thought of a name yet? <laughs> Not yet, Peanut Gallery. <laughs> Hey, we're recording, just so you know, in case you didn't know. Why? <sighs> All right. Hello. This is Bash. This is Jamie. Uh, and this uh, this pod, or this This thing video. that we're doing yeah. <laughs> is all about gin. We're not going to try to stretch into any other spirits because um, this is really just all about gin. Yeah. So, let's have gin. Let's have gin. Yes. So, um... Do you want to introduce our new? You. Gin? This is this okay. is his special bottle. I have never had this before, but he, as you can see, uh, half the bottle is already gone, so we won't be uh, opening the seal, which is one of my favorite things to do and share. Yeah. Well, that's that's for another time. Uh, keep in touch with us. Uh, since you are automatically going to subscribe, you'll notice that we will have many. Many instances of opening fresh, uh, never tried before. Uh, so you'll see. In this case, we're going to go with what I think is it's probably my favorite gin. Uh, Archipelago mm -hmm. Barrel Reserve. Boom. Uh, made in the Philippines uh, from a 1918 recipe. From a guy mm -hmm. who was escaping the Russian Revolution mm -hmm. and fled to Manila. <laughs> okay. So... <laughs> Factoid City. Beer driven uh, alcohol I that. production. Uh, I, I drank half a bottle. I did not know that. <laughs> so, yeah. alright, so, ready? Yeah. It's, um, now let me pour this for you. Apparently, it's rude to pour one for yourself, or is that just sake? I don't know. Anything. No. Alright. I'll wait to smell it with you. Alright. Even though you've already. Okay, you gotta pour mine now. Okay, here you go. So, this is a 45% ABV. Okay. And you know it's from the Philippines. Uh, fun fact, Philippines is the biggest consumer of gin. Get out. Yeah. 20, I did not know that. That's totally serious. 23 million cases a year. Wow. Uh, they're responsible for 43% of the entire world's gin consumption. Boom. Wow. I'm going to the Philippines. No shit. Yeah, me too, man. It's uh, full circle craft distillers, and uh, it's made in the city of Colomba. Okay. Colomba. Yeah. In the province of Laguna. Okay. <laughs> That's all the eyes I got. <laughs> Laguna. Are you ready? Let's, so. have, let's have gin. Let's have gin. Oh, I was going right for the smell. Mm -hmm. This is yours. You just mm -hmm. went right past it. I did. You know what? And, and that, I'm familiar with it. I, I couldn't wait. So the smell is what you should do first. You know, um, let it open it up. And, um, it's so weird. It's all over the place. Um, Citrus is the best I I got. I'm getting. See, so each sip um, brings a little something different to me. Like sometimes I'll get like um like black pepper or like nutmeggy something. Um, Cardamom. Yeah. Um, yeah. And fruity pebbles. I don't know where that's coming from, but that's Listen what to that. Listen to that. You know, sometimes sometimes you'll read these things on bottles or on other websites about different gins. And, um, and they'll say, oh, you know, there's a, there's a, a nuance of blueberry. And, and if you're not getting it, you know, that doesn't mean you're wrong. That, that means that you have a different perspective. So, you know, uh, don't, don't, um, one of the things that we're doing is making sure that you know, and you know, and I know, um, there's, um, this is a very democratic thing. You, nobody went to some highfalutin school in order to tease out uh, this nuance of high five flavor. That. Yeah, my, As my great aunt yeah. Rosie always said, there's no accounting for taste. All right, here you go. And so, so. My, my tastes on this keep going all over the place, man. Um, it's light. It's um, it's bright, uh, like very faint citrus. So you know you're getting a little bit of oak in here because mm. when it's a barrel reserve, what they're doing is they're taking their um, their original gin and then they're resting it in uh, new American oak barrels uh, for a period of time, which it gives us a little bit of a darker color. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so are you ready for some of the botanicals that in, are in here that you um, may or may not have ever heard of? I am all ears. Because I know they're all local to the Philippines, right? 
I don't this, well. This my with pronunciations like this. Okay. They oh. all me some <laughs> calamansi. Okay. All right. Citrus. Yang yang, yin yang. I don't know. Mm. We're learning. We're learning. Yeah, this is the first time. Yes. And uh, s what is it? Sap Sapaguita. Oh, I, I don't have know. no you can, idea. You can look it up. I believe you. I don't but, know uh, what that is. Here, oh, comes, here comes the hand of God again with the archipelago. So for those of you who don't know and haven't uh, seen us already, we uh, have the peanut gallery of our friends who are also gin enthusiasts, but they don't like to be on camera. So yeah, speaking, <laughs> speaking of being on camera, would you like your gin on camera? We'll talk about it. All you have to do is contact us in the comments below mm -hmm. or send us an email to let's have gin at gmail.com. Yeah. And since while you're here, subscribe down below. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. Oh. So what do you say we should mix this mix this up a little bit? Yeah, let's let's mix it up. Um and uh, you want to give a shout out to our sponsor for this episode. Well, that's kind of funny because we don't have a sponsor yet. Oh. You could be the sponsor. Oh. Do you have a sponsor you would like to make up in its place? Um, I don't know. Is this a family-friendly thing? Um, no. Because uh, if sponsor it's what? okay, um, well, this is sponsored by Waffle House. Because every time you have a big night out, Waffle House is there to cure you. Be ready for the rest of the Sorry. evening or the next day. So, Waffle House. Thank Here's you. to you, Waffle House. Oh, Cheers. All right. All right. I. Mm. Have a little bit of tonic huh? and already a little bit of ice. Go. Yep. So now we're gonna taste this, where this is going to dilute uh, some of the alcohol strength of the gin and bring out some of the uh, botanicals and florals that the distiller intended for you, instead of that harsh alcohol burn, um, which gives it a little complexity. Um, you getting anything out of that? Sometimes I like that they came up with the word complex because I wouldn't have thought that, but now that I know that you said it, that's exactly how I feel because I really, you know, this would not be my daily driver because because it's just there's so much going on. Yeah, it's true. I have no idea, you know, what to sit back and enjoy. So I'm getting something different every time. Like vanilla, or right. you getting like getting cardamom. The cardamom is really popping out onto me here. And I'm getting, I'm getting a spice and a tang that it's not my favorite, but I can tell that they put some time into this. I think I diluted mine too much. Uh, mine, mine's a, you know, uh, it's it's diluted so that I taste more, I get the, like like faint woodsy something, and it may be from the the oak barrels, you know. Mm. Um, this uh, this is not a daily driver, like you said, for me, but um, and. You know, I've had this bottle for I think two months. Uh, I, I have a, a little bit of it, a little bit of it as like a little treat, um, and I normally do mix it with uh, Fever Tree Tonic when I have it, uh, and I'll have one, maybe two. Um, like, and this is coming from a guy like um, you know Gordon's Gin. You know, I, I, that's like my table wine at home. Um, this is for a special occasion for me. That said. Uh, you know what? I have to say that the the gin burp I had was complex and delicious. You know, so yeah, <laughs> you know, so fantastic. You get it both ways. Yeah. Well, time's running a little bit short. Oh, okay, so, so we may have to see say see you later. Yep. Thanks for joining us for this episode. And uh, <laughs> you guys saw the name yet? Not yet. Peanut gallery. <laughs> oh, these, these guys. Subscribe. <laughs>